Okay, looky there. This is my lunch. Those are spicy um, skins. And Coca-Cola Zero with my ice. And this, I'm going to tell you what this is. This is a B C T. B C C T. Okay? It's not a BLT or anything like that, but it's a B C C T S. Okay. I'll tell you what those initials stand for. I'm sure you could probably figure it out. It is a bacon. This B C cabbage. I chopped up cabbage really tiny. Chicken. Tea. Tomato. So it's a bacon, cabbage, chicken, and tomato. So that's a B C C T salad. And the dressing is buttermilk. So, buttermilk ranch, actually. You get sugar-free, you can get low-fat, whatever kind you want, but I am on this thing. I think this is my 10th day, and I'm going to be feeling really good because I'm not having uh, the bad things. But anyways, I'm telling you, this is delicious. Try it out. You can put this on a taco. You can use, if you use the cabbage on a taco or on a salad, I had a salad yesterday and it tastes so good with tomatoes, with the fresh tomatoes. You put it on there with a little dressing or if you don't want that, you put vinaigrette. Honey, it is good. And nice cold uh, Coca-Cola Zero, which Coca-Cola is one of my favorite drinks, but I drink it with no sugar or anything in it. And believe me, I don't know if you guys remember this drink or not, but my favorite used to be Tab. And I think it's by Coca-Cola, I don't know, but it was this pink labeled drink that was so good that was my drink of the back in the day but anyways coca-cola reminds me of it the one with no no sugar in it and um this is my meal for the day and i will if i want a snack i'll have like some some nuts you know like some um mixed nuts you know like the cashews are kind of high in fat i mean calories carbs rather so you want to be careful with those but those are my favorite the, the cashews are my favorite macadamia nuts are my favorite so those are kind of high the macadamia nuts are kind of expensive but they do put them in the mixed uh, nuts sometimes so anyways that's what I'm having and um, I made some jam well I tried to make jam yesterday but I have to go and do it again because I only I'm glad I only did three jars because it came out like more like apple sauce or apple butter it's good though. It tastes so yummy. So I didn't throw it away. I don't want to waste anything. So I don't know. Decide what I'm going to eat with that. Maybe one day I'll have a snack. I'll just put it in a bowl and I'll just, you know, eat it for a snack. Because I put honey in it. I didn't put sugar. It calls for tons of sugar. So I'm going to go back over the recipe. I think I didn't add the water on time. Because with the apples, I think you got to add some more water. It says water as needed because it's more thicker. So it doesn't get into that gel like state unless it's. You know, I, I just have to experiment a little bit, but I'll probably do some strawberry later, and there will be some more apple. Whatever apple comes out is what we're gonna get, because I'm trying to save them so that they don't go bad and we're wasting things. So, anyways, it could be good for a nice hot, a nice winter night. You know, you take that apple stuff, whatever it is I made, and you can take it out of the jar and heat it up, and it'd be a cold, cool little. Uh, you can make it hot. And you could possibly eat it like that or drink it like that. Make a little apple drink out of it. So, anyways, experiment. That's why I didn't put it on here because it didn't come out. I just try it ahead of time so I can see, make sure I know the, the, the little twerks that I need to make on it. So that way I can fix it and then I will show you guys how it is made. And there's a lot of uh, recipes out there for canned foods and, and fruit jams and jellies and stuff that know how to do it I have to finish practicing and then I will put it on here I promise you so you guys have a good day thank you subscribers and mm, August is coming up so we'll get some more good news get two a month don't forget look forward to those guys and the next the last part I believe is coming up or maybe two more parts 
on the, the last one I did. So go check it out, guys, on the good news uh, videos, the latest ones. All right, have a good day. Oh, let me taste. Now, my daughter, one of my daughters doesn't like the, the bacon too crispy, so I made them some, but I made it a less crispy. Get some of everything. Get some tomato, too. Mm. I already know it's going to be good because I had some of the lettuce with the with that and some other kind of meat on there yesterday. Mm. You hear that crunch from bacon? Ooh. With all the mixture together, it's so delicious. Now, I'll tell you what the, what the cabbage, don't cook it. Just chop it up. It comes out really good. The reason I eat this cabbage like this is because one day I worked at the mall when I was younger and um, at lunchtime I wanted to eat me a little I wanted to eat me some food so I got me a ta uh, taco or was it a bowl I think it was a bowl no it was a taco in it and it had the cabbage in there and it was so delectable that like I'm gonna make sure I eat uh, cabbage in my for in place of lettuce one day and I started doing it so it's good you can do different things with the cabbage on these diets but I at one time I made this cabbage thing and it was the worst thing that thing I threw it out because it was horrible I think I might have mentioned it on one of my videos it was a bunch of it and the dogs didn't even want it I'm telling you so anyways, have a good day, guys. We'll see you in the next video.